Hi, this is Kenneth Purdom with Real Estate Photographer Pro. Just wanted to take a few minutes and walk through some ideas on preparing a home and getting a home for ready, getting a home ready for a real estate photo shoot. And at Real Estate Photographer Pro, we do have a list and some examples on helping getting that home ready. And this would be ideal to share with you know, probably the, I guess the homeowner that uh, hopefully is going to have uh, things ready. But you really want to do this, you know, several days before the photo shoot, depending on the property. But when you go to Real Estate Photographer Pro, just go to the very bottom to our quick links. Click on how to prepare a home for a real estate photo shoot. And here is a very detailed list. And it's a great way to just have this available. It starts at the front of the house, goes right through the inside of the house, right out the backyard, giving ideas for kitchen, living room, bedrooms, ideas for bathrooms if you have a pool and patio area it also shows our typical shoot list the order that we are going to go in so we're going to pull up and start right at the front go right through the house follow the traffic pattern right out the back door shoot the backyard and then if we're just doing photos we will be done in about 45 minutes to an hour ideas for storage areas there's some video examples here uh, how to position the mini blinds but uh, this list is always available at Real Estate Photographer Pro. Go to the very bottom and click on how to prepare a home for a real estate photo shoot. But I want to go through some examples of homes that were prepared and homes that were not prepared. So I'll come back to this one. This is one in Thompson Station that I think we shot in October. But this is one we did not shoot. I just, just found it on the internet. I don't want to pick on this family or... The, the photos nothing really wrong with the photos but you can see when, when things are cluttered just to, to give the il illustration creates confusion there's almost too inform too much information and when the countertops are full you know you're covering up opportunities and in a small house I can, like this I can certainly understand but if you can eliminate these things or just take these things out and put them in one room right before the photo shoot you know the morning before the photo shoot just put everything out of way and that could be you can be creative in where you hide these things but it does cause confusion like things on the refrigerator schedules call list it's like the you know you, you don't you want to showcase the room not the tiny personal things in the room so let's go back to this house that's enough on that one of the things we need to do up front is make sure all the mini blinds are the same. So they're open, they're down, but they're letting light in. And then even the garage mini blinds are the same. So a lot of times these garage mini blinds uh, have not been used in years or they're blocked or something in front. You know, when you go in the garage, you can't get to them. So ahead of time, you want to position those so they can look like the rest of the house. Also, no cars in front of the house. If there's, if everyone parks in front of the house, Two things might happen might not be able to get the angles we need then everyone's got to move their cars or if they're they may be in the way of the actual shot so we're trying to take three shots one from the from the uh, left side of the house from from the middle and then one from the right side and then if it's a large house walking up to the front door photos then you want the garage doors down. You don't want these open. We usually don't shoot garages unless there's special instructions and there's something in there that needs to be seen. But usually we try to stay away from the inside of garages, try to stay away from taking pictures of commodes and closets, things like that. Um, this is the entranceway. So we're gonna start right at the entranceway. You can tell it was you know, around October when these photos were done. But one thing this home had done, they'd taken down all the photos, or at least most of the photos. There's nothing confusing your eye when you look across the room. You can see how the mini blinds are down, but they're cracked open and they're slanted back. So the light coming in is reflective off the mini blinds and then bouncing and lighting up this room. All right. Uh, on this window, I'd like to point out, I don't know if they took it down, but there's nothing covering it, which is great nothing uh, there's a patio out there so that's blocking you know direct sun coming in that's good but there's there's nothing cluttering up this space with a lot of uh, window treatment that's great that 
that's the way it ultimately got there. So I'm not sure if they did that in preparation or if that's just the way it's you know normally done. Nothing in the middle of the rooms. There's uh, there's a great idea. You know, no coffee table, no extra chairs, no you know no floor <laughs> seating or anything. Uh, no bright colored rugs, uh, no patterns that cause confusion. That's all, always a good idea. <clears throat> so, just going through. And you see where decorations, minimum decorations for the season, not a problem. Because it doesn't, doesn't uh, confuse you. But you could see if you had two too much you know too much christmas too much fall decoration it's confusing uh when you look at the room so you can see there's no fall decorations there you'll see some in the next photo but see how the countertops are clean photos are down you know it's neutral someone can see themselves nothing covering up the floor no rugs No personal items, no, no photographs. This thing the back shot. There are some rugs here, but they're not. They're they're very small amount of the pictures. So there's nothing major that's confusing the eye. The eye can go across the room. Now we can shoot with lights on or off. I usually like to shoot with if the room is lit well, natural lighting. Uh, we shoot with the lights off. And the reason for that, if you turn these on in some houses, this creates a yellow overcast and it makes all this white paint yellow. Uh, that's that's not an accurate color representation. And a lot of times half the light bulbs are out. So if you start turning on everything, if it's not been well planned, you'll have a lot of light bulbs out. Countertops empty, depersonalized. You know, imagine there's dollar bills. You know, you're showing off all of this opportunity, all of this real estate. So if you, if you had all of this covered up, it just becomes cluttered. Now this, you know, go back and go get something like that. It's again, sometimes they're not able to get ready. That's understandable. But the idea that we're going to edit it out is not true. The idea that the photographer is going to move everything that's just not realistic in bathrooms just a side note in a you know this is a hallway bathroom we're just usually shooting the countertop we're trying to get the light fixture the mirrors the fixtures here and the countertops and if you shoot right in the doorway in this particular bathroom you know from this door way looking in you would actually miss you know the major asset here you would just be taking a picture of the corner and in this corner guess what there's just a commode there so you'd be trying to avoid that photo you see a little bit of seasonal here so you can tell it's going in the moving from fall to christmas so again this is not over the top so it's not not distract not distracting <laughs> Clean lines. I mean, there's a few things if you overanalyze it, you know, we could have gotten the phone cord out of there. But I like the way this, this bike is. It's not here in the way. It's out of sight. And in most bedrooms, you're just taking a photo. Your major photo is from the doorway. So if you stand at any bedroom and look at the doorway across the room, that's your visual lines. That's your photograph. Again, coming in and out of a large bathroom like this, you know, I'm standing in the closet shooting across, and then there's a photo standing at this doorway looking in. Now, here are some things on the wall, you know, but everything is in perfect order. Everything's straight and clean, but you can see if... if if you know if you had a uh, university blanket and then you had a university blanket here and then you had personal pictures and trophies it just becomes too much this is not too much this is balanced 
clean countertops. No toothbrushes, no Kleenexes. Everything's put away. And notice where the shot's from. It's not, in this case, it's not from the doorway. It's looking back. If you shoot at the doorway and come across, you're going to hit part of this countertop again. You've got a picture of probably a, a shower curtain. <laughs> Excuse me. You have a, a photo of a shower curtain, and then you have, a, you know, a picture of guess what? A commode there. So look, the look back shot to the countertop, showing the light fixtures and countertop and the cabinets. That's what we're after. Studies show that's what people want to see. That's that's where that information comes. They don't want to see your shower curtain, and they don't want to see your commode. Uh, clean lines, nothing personal. You get a quick view of the room. Clean bath bathroom clean leading lines there's nothing confusing here clean countertop extremely cleaned up family room this is great could have a few more items empty but this time of year that they're using this every afternoon so but it looks good amazing backyard do see a lot of trampolines in this case it's not a problem because you can still see you know 90 percent of the house i can see the all of the windows i can see all the lines i can see everything's you know looks good there's no no major repairs but sometimes you get a smaller house you get a trampoline right in the, the back right in the middle of everything and someone will say i'll just edit it out that's usually not what's been purchased and that would be a major edit and the way to get rid of these trampolines is to move them back out of the way, take them down, but move them to the back of the yard. So they might show in the patio shot, you know, when you're shooting across the backyard, but they're not blocking the view of the house when you're shooting back at the house. <clears throat> One other note, there's no cars parked in the front. Sometimes everybody will park in front or just to the side. You want to park off down the street, like, park in front of the neighbor's house because you want to you don't want all of these cars we pick up a few neighbor's cars there's nothing we can do about that but you don't want you know the the owner's cars here the real estate cars sitting here and the photographer's call car here all in the photograph all right that's it check out real estate photographer pro go to the very bottom of the website you can always go to our website 24-7, click book a photo shoot, see our complete price list and scheduling.